The Chinese made lots of weapons which helped them out in war, but the period of time which had the most weapons made was the Song Dynasty. The ancient Chinese found out that gunpowder exploded and they used it for fireworks. The Chinese at first used it for war to scare off their enemies, but then realized that it sometimes killed nearby people. So they thought, hey, this gunpowder can not only scare people, but also kill. Why don't we put this in a tube and fire a heavy metal ball with the explosion from the gunpowder? This evolved into the cannon. The armies began adding small objects, such as stones, pieces of pottery, or metal to the gunpowder-filled fire lands. When the gunpowder was lit, the exploding fragments would project the small objects onto the enemy soldiers, rendering the castles to be obsolete and easy to destroy. The gold yen sword is one of the earliest ancient Chinese war yen swords and is considered as the Chinese equivalent of the Western excabula. The sword was found sheathed in a wooden scabbard finished in back lacquer. Taking off the scabbard revealed an untarnished blade, despite the tomb being over 2,000 years old. The sword was originally in the possession of King Go Tian of the Yu State and was made his personal sword. A bit more than two thirds of the sword is made out of copper. A bit more than a quarter of the sword is made out of tin. A bit more than 3% of the sword is made of lead. Less than 2% of the sword is made of iron, a bit more than 1% of the sword is made of sulfur, and there are traces of arsenic all over the sword. The body of the blade is mainly made of copper, making it more pliant and less likely to shatter. The edges have more tin content, making them harder and capable of retaining a sharper edge. The sulfur decreases the chance of tarnish in the patterns. Then there's the flamethrower, the last and seemingly most exciting weapon we have mentioned. The flamethrower was called the pen huo qi, or the spray fire device, which was a double pump naphtha flamethrower. Naphtha is a flammable liquid hydrocarbon mixture. Mixtured mixtures labeled naphtha have been produced from natural gas condensates, petrol, and the distillation of coal, tar, and peat. In different industries and regions, naphtha may also be crude oil or refined products such as kerosene. The nymphum projector pump was used to spread fierce fire oil that could not be doused with water. The flamethrower also has its downside because if the wind goes to your directions, you will be burned by your own flame and probably die. The modifications of the flamethrower include putting the flamethrower on a cart.